verse of Mishle, and this is the final verse of introduction that Shlomo Amelech gives us while about to start his Sefer of Mishle. Just to give a recap, so this way it puts that into perspective, even though we're learning it in depth, so this way you put it in perspective. The first Pasuk, Shlomo Amelech tells us, was who he is, the son of, of, Shlo, of, of King David, and uh, what he's going to do in this Sefer, which is give me Shalim. Uh, anecdotes, parables. Then the first, the second, the pasuk after that tells us that he's coming, and its main uh, idea is for chokma and musar, for wisdom, and then to give us discipline, ethics. The next pasuk tells us um, that it's good. Uh, he's speaking about musar and eskel tzedek umishpat, meaning he's telling us that we're going to learn the discipline and accepting of righteousness, justice, and then misharim. The fourth pasuk we learned was, who's this sefer best for? Who's going to accept the, the uh, rebuke and the musar at the best? Is simple people, and most importantly, as the Farshim said, was the youth, the children. They're not set in their ways. And then he's, yesterday we learned, and if you are a chacham, or even a navon, which is a greater level, there is much for you to learn from this sefer. He finishes off in pasuk vav, and this is the end of the introduction to Sefer Mishle, and I'll read, Lavin mashalum litza, in order for us to understand parables, and melitza is nicely tra translated as uh, epigram, but really in, in modern uh, ways, we can understand that as a mashal and a nimshal, meaning there's the, the story or the anecdote, and then the practical application, what it means to us. And then he ends off so, Lavin mashalum litza, divre chachamim vechidotam, as well as understanding the words of Chachamim and their enigmas and their ways of giving us that, uh, that message. The Midrash says something very interesting. The Midrash tells us, uh, this is actually a Midrash on Mishle, tells us that Mishalim are actually um, Torah. Torah in the aspect of stories, the, many of the biblical stories or any type of story. Militza, on the other hand, is, as I quote here, Zoha Torah Atzma Shenikret Militza. So the Torah is, is, I guess, the broader aspect of maybe the stories, including the lessons, but, but the, the Militza itself is the laws and the practical rules and, and, and lekach that we take out from the, from the, from the Torah. That's, the Militza is what we take out of the Mashal. So now he asks, the Midrash asks, why is it called, why is it called Militza? Why would the Torah itself and the lessons themselves be called Militza? He gives two reasons, the Midrash. The first is, is because those who learn Torah, it is Matzelet Otam Mikehinom. It saves a person from Lo Aleinu, Gehinom, hell, when we learn Torah, it, it, it helps us, it gives us merit to bring us out of that. Now another, Davar Acheri gives another reason why it's called Melitza, because anyone who chas v'shalom scorns or jokes over uh, what the Torah says is considered a let's. So therefore, Melitza has the same, uh, the same root as, as let's, as joking and, and discounting, scorning, lo the Torah. So therefore, the Torah itself, the lessons itself, the Midrash tells us, is called Melitza, which is very interesting. There's another, uh, another point that I wanted to bring out. The Shla says, why is it so important? And this, I guess, is a good way to end off the introduction to the Sefer. He says that, why is it so important to give stories and parables? And he answers, the Shla Kadosh tells us, that when a person speaks in stories or in parables, it's fitting to all ages and all types. When, how, how very often, how do you uh, gather the attention, and get, catch the attention of children and even women or even people who are not so into it or so learned? It's when you give a story. It's when you give an anecdote. You take them out of their rational thinking. You start speaking to their emotions, to their, to their past, to memories, to a story, to somewhere where it's out of reality, kind of. And that's why uh, Shlomo Melech uh, so importantly set out to write a sefer, which practice not everything, but may is mainly based on Mishalim, in order so that he was able to speak to, to all. I'll end off with, uh, as the introduction, with what the Gaon Mivilna, the Gra, says. And he says something interesting. If you count 
uh, everything as, as an intro, what Shlomo Melech did in, the, in this introduction, you'll see there's a special set of three and then another 12. And the three is, we'll explain what they are, allude to our patriarchs, and the 12 alluding to our, our Shivatim. And he says as follows. Um, so, this is his Hakdama. He says, the Hakdama of the Sefer is, Mi'am Chabiro, who is the author? We said that Shlomo Melech. And then, Utsorech Ma'asao, and why did he write it? Well, he gave us a list of why he wrote it. He says, Veklal kol arba dvarim, it's included in all three main things of la'asot, lilmod v'la'asot, that's number one. And then he says, la'kachat, la'tet, and ishma. First, you need to take, and then you need to, to give it over, and yishma, continue learning and continue living with it. And those three are Keneged, Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. And then he goes through the each twelve. In these five next psukim, it says which of the twelve are, and it said that we have to go as follows. Number one, Sechel, right Tzedek, we translated, we exactly know there. Sechel, Tzedek, Mishpat, Misharim, Orma, Dat, Lekach, Tachbolot, Tachbolot, Mashal, Melitza, Divrei Chachamim, and Hidotam are all 12. If you take all of the main points of the Psukim, Bet, Til, Vav, those are all of the exact points that he is telling us why he wrote the Sefer, in different ways to understand. So on purpose, he obviously alluded to that that uh, all of these teachings stem definitely from our patriarchs, from our shvatim, and that learning, uh, learning these words with Hashem will tap into their merit and help us grow in our own ethics, morality, and obviously wisdom. That Hashem will uh, continue and will actually start, officially start the Sefer tomorrow with a very famous uh, opening. Baruch Amen. 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 Amen.